It's been a while, so let's sing a song. We're gonna do something crazy. We're gonna do something crazy. We're gonna do something crazy. Cause I ain't so lazy. Hey. Hey, how you doing? Freaking Joey from, uh, what's that show called? It's always sunny in Philadelphia. Sight, I know it's Seinfeld. What we're gonna be doing today is something very interesting for you all. This food. This little food uh, treat, I never tried before, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be awesome because it's my favorite meal. So, check this out. So as you can see here, we got chow mein and mari chong. Mari chong is my favorite of these two, that's for sure. Uh, we're going to be mixing them though and seeing how they taste together. I'm pretty sure they'll taste awesome. The reason why I'm not a big fan of chow mein noodles is because they have their... I do when I cook. See, they have their vegetables all up in there. See, look at all those vegetables. They force me to vegetables. I don't like that. There we go. Now it's much better. No vegetables. I should have started with the other one first because I don't really like it. So I dumped out the water because it's an exclusive thing to do. I think I'm gonna add the sauce when I add when I get the other one cooked. What are we doing here? Before I open this, I gotta show you all how beautiful this one is. The Mari Chan, my favorite one. Hallelujah! 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 I'm pretty sure I should put like that one. But, you gotta understand, I'm really happy that they got powdered seasoning instead of the sauce, soy sauce seasoning. And also, look at there, they got their dried up, nasty looking fruit. Actually, these don't look that bad as bad as they, like look at this one. This one I didn't get to throw out. They're dried up, and they like, they're super dried up. They're way more dried up than these, that's for sure, because if they were the same, they would be more darker color. But, um, but yeah, these aren't that bad. It's just, from eating so many of those, and having so many of bad pieces like that, it don't. Oh, I have to do this. I just have to do this. I just, I just. No. No. I found out something. Those Mari Chan noodles, my favorite ones, they take four minutes. And they, just, they take, I have a piper. I have a piper over it. Because there's a fly flying around. I don't want to blame on my food. But, anyways, yeah, those take five minutes. Those take only four minutes. Huh. Oh. Whatever it's all. But to be fair, you do got uh, steam cook them for a minute after they're done. So technically they're both five minutes. Okay, so yeah, two minutes away. What do we do for two minutes? I don't know. I don't want this video to be too short because I know I've been making a lot of short videos lately. And so, you know, I want to get back to making those long videos. It's more fun for me to do long videos anyways. Feels like I, it feels like I worked harder on it when I actually did. But, you know how it is. <laughs> Anyways, what do I do for a minute and 40 seconds now? What do I do for a minute and 40 seconds off the top of my head? I can clap. I can't clap for a full minute though, I get bored of that. I ain't no Mr. Beast. You know what we can do? For a long time though? We can uh, move these noodles over here. That way I can watch them, so these two flies flying around don't get their nasty, dissolving spit on them. I know, something you don't want to think about when you're about to eat. But, I'm good. Uh, we got another minute to wait, and now we got low power. Low power now. Interesting, interesting stuff indeed. Uh, you know what, for this last minute, I don't know, I, I ran out of things I'd do. I wanted, like, to spray this slice all up in there and be like, oh, it's snowing, but then I was thinking, like, oh, I don't want to poison my noodles. <laughs> Anyways, let's wait for the rest of it. Okay, now I dumped out half the water on this one because I still wanted some more because look at these noodles. They're drying up. They need some more. The only problem with not eating this water is I gotta eat it fast. But, um, so yeah, we got some water in this one, but yeah, you can tell there's a big difference, actually. Let me turn the light. So 
So yeah, there's a big difference in these noodles. I guess that's why there's a different cooking difference. So anyways, let's do the best part y'all have been waiting for, that I've been waiting for, the mixing part. So here we go. I hope this works out in one sweet scoop. Uh, whatever you call it. <gasps> oh, so close. You all saw that. That's called pro right there. Oh, I'm so glad those noodles were stuck together and they're not the best kind of noodles. And it finally came in handy. Look at that. Super noodly. I can't even stir it. Ooh, it's heavy. It's thick now. Okay. Yeah, that's all of it. Um, I gotta get... That was so close. I'm so happy that didn't fall. <laughs> Let's open these packs and have them first. I gotta do that off camera though because I can't. Oh yeah, look at that. We got some of that dried seasoning on there. Some of that dried seasoning on there. Now let's add that. Um, soy seasoning. Now they're both chicken flavored, so, you know, they're not going to be much. I don't think it's going to be much of a taste difference in flavor. But who knows? Because they have different smells, different textures. Who knows how this is going to turn out? I don't. Actually, it's starting to smell like peanut butter, oddly. That's not seasoning on my peanut this is so hard to stir up. I swear it is. <laughs> I wish I had a bigger bowl or something. But it smells great. Oh my lord. It smells good. It smells way better than when it's just a um, uh, The ones I don't like. It, this is so hard to stir. I'm calling it like corner by corner to stir it so I don't make a mess and able to pick up as most as I can look I'll try to pick up right in the middle I go super saint on this oh, let me get the grip ah, oh nope ah, let's go bend the fork hold up <laughs> we don't want to do that Let's go legit burn the fork through so many noodles. Okay, let's give this a taste try. I think I've got it mixed up well enough. This is what it looks like mixed up. It basically looks like the, um, I think it was, I forgot what they're, the other ones for the oily ones. It looks more like them than the dried ones. But, um, has a good, still feels like good noodles. It smells good. Let's give this a taste try. Alright, here we go. Dang, this is heavy. This first time I picked up, you gotta put against my chest, I think. Oh, that's just too hot, the whole thing. I won't burn myself. Here we go. Some chicken dry seasoning, some chicken soy seasoning mixed together with two different types of noodles, I believe. so good I gotta keep my composure makes me want to dance for sure try that out for sure it like gave it a sweet flavor to it like you know how I said that smells like peanut butter now that smell is coming back but in taste but tastes like it doesn't taste like peanut butter but tastes like more like honey is mixed in with it you gotta give that a try Especially if you love the Marichan noodles, give that a try. I know you might not like the other noodles like me that much, but still prepare it like I did and try that out. That's awesome. That's very awesome. Has such a sweet flavor to it, just sweet chicken flavor to it. I'm gonna go enjoy these with some chips, with the soda, Sprite, of course. Uh, stay awesome. Thanks for tuning in. And I know I haven't been uploading that much lately, but there will be a lot more to come. So, yeah, stay awesome. Of course, there will be more to come. As always, later, everyone.